Okay, the derivative of the natural exponential function, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. Um, we're not going to prove that here. You'll actually prove that in calculus too. But this is a very important phenomenon. Like this is one of the most important things we've ever discovered in all of mathematics is that there's this function. When you take his derivative, you get the exact same function back. There's only one other function that does that, and that's y equals zero. The derivative of y equals zero is y equals zero. So I've got some function here, e to the x. This is y equals e to the x. At every point along this curve, if you ask me, say here's some a value. What is the slope of the tangent line at that point right there? Well, then the slope of the tangent line is the function value itself. The derivative at x equals a is just the same thing as y at x equals a. That would be e to the a. There are only two functions such that y prime equals the original function again. This is, this is what's called a differential equation, and this only has two types of solutions, what we call the trivial solution, y equals zero, and then the interesting solution, y equals e to the x. And of course, we could put any number in front of there, and that would still work. The derivative of y equals 5e to the x would be 5 e to the x. The 5 just comes along for the ride. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So in general, the solution to this differential equation is y equals a e to the x. And that covers all my bases. If I let a be 0, then I get my trivial solution y equals 0. Okay, what if we have, instead of just e to the x, e raised to some function? Well, then it's just chain rule. That's literally, this, this nasty looking stuff right here, that's just chain rule. So if I had f of x equals e raised to the tangent of 2x, then I would just chain rule that. The derivative of e to the anything, no matter what's up here, as long as it's a function of x, is e to the same thing times the derivative of what's up top. What's the derivative of tangent of 2x? Derivative of tangent of anything is secant squared of the same thing times the derivative of your stuff. The derivative of 2x is 2. So I'd use chain rule twice there. Okay. Here I've got a quotient rule. The derivative of the top, derivative of e to the anything is e to that same thing times the derivative of whatever was up top in the exponent. So derivative of the numerator times the denominator minus derivative of the denominator, one. Leave the numerator alone all over the bottom squared. So that was quotient rule and chain rule and the derivative of the natural exponential function all built into one. Why is e to the x so important? Because it models so many natural phenomena. So many things in the real world can be modeled by some exponential function. And the classic example of that is exponential growth. So we've got some exponential growth function. My independent variable here is t, and that's measured in days. My initial amount is 1,000. So a of zero here would be 1,000 e to the zero. Anything to the zero power is one, so just 1,000 mosquitoes. 
The question says, we want to look at the ratio of the rate of change over the original. So what we're saying is they want us to write out this fraction and show that that is a constant. In other words, what we're showing here is that the derivative is just some constant times the original. That's what exponential functions do. They have a constant rate of change. But not, not like a line has a constant rate of change. This is a constant exponential rate of change. OK, so let's take the derivative. A of t is 1,000 e to the 0.3 t. So the derivative, which we might also call dA dt if we were writing in Leibniz notation, the 1,000 comes along for the ride. e to the anything, the derivative of that is e to the same thing times the derivative of your exponent. Derivative of 0.3t is just 0.3. So 1,000 times 0.3 would be 300. So now, to answer their question, the derivative divided by the original, these functions cancel out, I get 300 over 1,000, I just get 0.3. That's called our growth factor or our growth rate. See, he's right there. Okay, let's stop there. Make this several videos.